So I was born in a very, very small, uh, it's not even a town, called Sannidar. When I was a, ki uh, a kid, I used to play soccer. I started to play soccer when I was uh, five. And I think I also, uh, yeah, I was doing skiing because, you know, as a Norwegian, we were born with the skis on our uh, feet. I mm, lived there with uh, my mother and my two older sisters. And my father, he lived there, he lived up, he worked in Africa, in Central America. From a very early age, I started to uh, visit my dad in, in different countries in Africa. And I also lived in uh, Costa Rica for a year. It was a big contrast to, uh, to the small uh, uh, woods of San Nidal, but I think I it really inspired me and, and I learned that the world is, is, uh, is, uh, is big. It's a kind of uh, um, planted a, a seed in me uh, to go and explore the world. When I was 21, I got a, gas, I got a franchise on the gas station in, in Oslo. And then when I, I sold the franchise, I decided that I was going to go to New York. Then I, I went back home and then I started another company. Um, called Telemarksrøra, which uh, provided uh, convenience stores and coffee shops and whatnot with the program of them to make freshly made Nordic waffles. I sold it in 2014, but all of those years I've been coming to the US by myself for vacations and whatnot. And I tr traveled around just to explore the waffle culture here in the US. And then when I sold the company, then I I was uh, 31 and then I just figured that and I didn't have any kids or no husband or nothing and, and I was thinking that if I'm going to do it, this is, this is the time. And I went to the place that I thought they could help me, which was Minneapolis, because I read about the Norwegian American um, community. Then the whole community of the Norwegian American uh, community just embraced me. I felt like first it was the Sons of Norway, then it was Norway House, then I was introduced to um, um, the Center for Innovation, which is up in Grand Forks, North Dakota. When I saw I was up in, in Grand Forks, I moved up there for eight months um, and developed my, my company, uh, Nordic Waffles. It looks so kind of similar Norway and, and the US, if you just look at it from outside. We, but then when you move here and then you, it's all these small little things like um, bed sheets. You know, I was gonna make my bed and I didn't know how all the different systems that you have for, for, for making your bed, it's so different from what I'm used to. So I spent like three hours at Target to get the bed sheet and I was so embarrassed to ask how do you make your bed? It was very different with all the drive-ins, that you can have drive-ins for the bank and drive-in for your coffee and drive-in for, for everything. That, that was uh, something that I, in the beginning, I thought that that was, that was like, why do you need that? You know, you can just, can't you just walk out of your car and walk in? But now I'm like, if they don't have drive through I'm not gonna go in <laughs> for coffee in the morning. The measurements that you use, miles and, cups and pounds and all of that. That was especially for me who is doing, dealing with food. Um, I need to, uh, to learn all these different uh, ways of doing measurements. These days I live in an uh, apartment, it's a duplex in Uptown in Minneapolis. And I have an office at Norway House. I have uh, one employee. Uh, we have launched the uh, company Nordic Waffles. I got some good friends and then I have a family who, who have adopted me, I, f I think. Uh, so I, <laughs> I got that too. It's really not just a product. Uh, this uh, Nordic Waffles is a, is a part of our culture who is kos and hygge and mys. It's, it's a whole directly translated. It, it's cozy, but it's, it's so much more. Um, it's it, it's kind of like it, it's about enjoying the moment, the friendship, love, 
uh, something that we do in Scandinavia that is treating yourself and treating each other. And it's, uh, it's really a culture that I, I think is, is good for you.